over $700. That's how much the top 10 Redditors are making in a month from the cryptocurrency subreddit. And this is from creating engaging posts and commenting on other posts and commenting on other comments. Yes, you can earn cryptocurrency on Reddit for free and you can turn that into cash in the bank. That's what this video is about. I'm gonna show you how to earn cryptocurrency and how to withdraw the Reddit moons that you earn into cash in the bank. Now, this video is not financial advice. Don't buy anything. This is just educational material on how to use this platform because Reddit does not make it easy. And I think that's intentional because maybe they don't wanna get sued by the SEC. So everything is very vague and just very obscure. So figuring this out isn't easy. You have to be very tech savvy and familiar with it. But if you're not, this video will help you out because we're gonna walk through everything step by step. And if you do find this video helpful, you can help me out by hitting the like button. I would appreciate it. And if you're looking for something more specific, I recommend checking out the time codes below. Otherwise, just join me for this entire journey. Hi, internet friends. I'm Dan. I make crypto content. And if you want to improve your crypto skills, join the free Discord and check out the links below. Let's start off with a primer about Reddit. Reddit is this large social media platform and there are communities built within that platform. And each of these communities are called subreddits. So there is a community for cryptocurrency there and that is a subreddit called cryptocurrency. Within the cryptocurrency subreddit, people can receive moons, which is a cryptocurrency. Now, if you are on the desktop site, you might not really know you have a crypto wallet, but if you use the Reddit mobile app, that's when you can set up your Reddit vault and you could start seeing and receiving all the cryptocurrency that you potentially earned from the cryptocurrency subreddit. How to earn crypto on Reddit. Basically, if you are engaging with the content in the cryptocurrency community and people like what you are posting and you're posting good stuff, you're commenting on other things, you can get a share of the moons that are distributed every 28 days. So every 28 days, moons are distributed to people who have earned karma in the cryptocurrency community. And the amount you get is a percentage based on the total moons that are being distributed divided by the total karma. Now with that primer out of the way, how do you earn cryptocurrency on Reddit? Basically you create content if people upvote it and they like it, that's how you can start earning karma. And in 28 days when they distribute the moons, you could be earning cryptocurrency. And this doesn't come just from posting content, this also comes from commenting on content. Now there are a couple other ways to earn cryptocurrency too. People might just gift it to you. There are some competitions, there are some other things, a lot of like tiny events that they're testing out so things can change over time. But this video is mainly gonna cover the overall process so you know basically how to earn and how to turn that into cash in the bank. So now that you've earned cryptocurrency, you need to set up a Reddit wallet. So now we have to get the Reddit mobile app and set up our Reddit vault. So to use Reddit Vault, which is your Reddit crypto wallet, you have to be using the mobile app. And if you haven't set up a Reddit account, it takes less than a minute. I have set up a new account and we are doing this fresh so you can see everything live for the first time and you should have the exact same experience. So at the top right, we're gonna select our avatar and then we're gonna select a vault. Now we wanna create our vaults and we can agree to Reddit's community points terms of service, agree and continue. Generating vault. This is just creating a crypto wallet for us that we can use to earn cryptocurrency, hold our NFTs and whatever else we may wanna do. So it only takes a minute and it's good to go. So we can back up manually or back up to Reddit. Let's back up manually so we can see our seed phrase. And now we're gonna see our recovery phrase here. This is something you should not share with anybody. It is 12 random words that you need to write down and you need to keep safe, especially if you plan on having a significant amount in your crypto wallet. So be very careful with this. I can't stress this enough. And we're gonna use that in the next step when we download MetaMask. 
So I'm going to back this up right now by writing it down and saving it in multiple places. I've written it down, so I'm going to select manual backup. And now I just have to input the 12 words in the right order. Your vault is empty. So it is set up now. I'm going to get out of there. And it looks like you send out all your collectible avatars and community points out, but not really. I just haven't done anything. Purchase collectible avatars. And I know these are all sold out because they are very popular. So let's see. Yep, they are all sold out. Not a problem. Maybe we'll catch them on the next one. But for now, I'm just going to hit that X. And yeah, our Reddit vault is empty. We don't have any moons. We don't have any avatars. So there's nothing to show us. But if we did want to start working with this, we'd hit these three dots at the top right. And you can see my username and cryptocurrency address. With this cryptocurrency address, we can send moons to it from, let's say, a cryptocurrency exchange. Or I would provide my username to somebody and they could send me moons if uh, they were very nice. I'm going to get some moons from my other account. Switching accounts. You can see in my other vault, I do have some moons here and some collectible avatars. And if I want to send some moons out, I would go to the top right here, that arrow, and I'm going to send it to user full Reddit Dan. Gift one moon. And then go back to my vault. You can now see I have one moon from the cryptocurrency subreddit and zero ETH. I do need some Ethereum for gas funds if I want to send this to a cryptocurrency wallet outside the Reddit ecosystem. Now, we can't actually send any of these moons to a cryptocurrency wallet outside of the Reddit ecosystem, which means we can't send these moons to a cryptocurrency exchange where we could trade it for Ethereum or US dollars and then withdraw that to a bank account. So we can't turn this into cash just yet. Our next step is MetaMask. We're going to use our vault seed phrase. We're going to put that into MetaMask and then we'll be able to move our moons to a crypto exchange to trade for USDT, which is a stable coin. It's just like cash. And then we're going to exchange that for US dollars then withdraw to the bank. It, it, it's a long process. So if this video has been helpful, feel free to hit that like button. To be able to use your crypto wallet with the rest of the crypto world, you're going to need to have MetaMask. Now MetaMask is available for Chrome, Android, and iOS. I personally like using it on the desktop, so I am going to add it to Google Chrome, and I'm going to add the extension. That pops up MetaMask. We can hit Get Started. No thanks. And I already have a secret recovery phrase. That is the phrase that we backed up with our Reddit vault. So we are going to use our 12 word seed phrase and we're going to fill out that information here. This is secret information that you should not share with anybody. And if you are using a phone or computer, just make sure it's safe and not full of spyware. Otherwise, you could potentially compromise the cryptocurrency that you already own. And after adding your seed phrase successfully, you should see this. Congratulations, and you're ready to get started. Now you can see I have nothing in here, zero ETH, but that's just because I'm on the Ethereum mainnet. I need to add Arbitrum Nova, and there is a difference between Arbitrum Nova and Arbitrum 1, and we need to make sure we're using the right network. So to connect to Arbitrum Nova, that's what we want to look up. We're going to type in Arbitrum, and you can see that there are several different networks available. We want Arbitrum Nova. So I'm going to select connect to wallet. That's going to open up MetaMask. I'm going to connect my wallet here. It's going to see these are the permissions that it's going to provide. See addresses, account balances, activity, and suggest transactions to approve. I'm OK with that. We are connecting. And now we are going to select add to MetaMask. Allow this site to add a network. Yes, this is exactly what we want. We are going to add the Arbitrum Nova network to our MetaMask so we can interact with the Reddit moons that we own. So I am going to hit approve and we are going to switch the network over. And just like that, it should be good to go. I am just going to open up MetaMask. Gonna close that. We are on Arbitrum Nova. You can see I have some ETH there because I have some Arbitrum Nova ETH sitting in my account. So I just realized Chainlist is using an old block explorer. The correct block explorer to see our account information is nova.arbiscan.io. So now with this setup, 
I can go to our main page here, the account page, and now I can view our account in Explorer. So we are at the Arbitrum Nova Explorer at nova.arbiscan. And you can see here that I have some ETH, that is my Ethereum balance. And then we have some tokens here. We have 112 moons. And now we want to add moons to our MetaMask so we can see our balance. It doesn't happen automatically, at least not at the moment. So we want to go to the drop down here and select moons. Then we want to hover over the contract and then we'll be able to copy the address. Then we go back to MetaMask. And then at the bottom here, import token. We put the contract address. We put the symbol moon and token decimal 18. Actually, those last two fields populated automatically. That was very easy. Add custom token, import tokens. And now we have moons on MetaMask. This makes it possible for us to send these moons to another cryptocurrency, another wallet, pretty much any address available on Arbitrum Nova. And remember, this is the Arbitrum Nova network. It's not gonna work with other networks. If you send the cryptocurrency to an address that isn't on the Arbitrum Nova network, you lose that cryptocurrency, so be very careful there. Now we need to add some gas to our account and that's Ethereum because you need Ethereum to pay the network fees and that's why it's called gas because you need gas to fuel things and that's just a very light explanation for a very complicated process, especially if you're new to crypto, but I'm gonna walk you through all the steps. So here we are at bridge.arbitrum.io. You should see this site and we're gonna connect our wallet. Since we have MetaMask, we're gonna connect that. It's gonna hit next, gonna connect my account and then it's gonna add the necessary networks. So I also need to add Arbitrum 1 to my account and then I'm gonna approve this. I'm gonna switch the network and now we have Arbitrum 1, the Ethereum mainnet, and Arbitrum Nova all in our MetaMask. It's going to get a little bit complicated, but let me just simplify all the steps for you. There's Ethereum. That is a cryptocurrency. It is a network. It fuels a lot of decentralized applications. And then you have Arbitrum 1, which is kind of called Arbitrum Nitro now, but Arbitrum 1, when you see it out there, is a network built on top of Ethereum. It makes Ethereum transactions faster and cheaper, and Arbitrum Nova is even faster and cheaper. So it's Ethereum, Arbitrum 1, Arbitrum Nova. Now that we kind of have that visualization, we have to move Ethereum from the Ethereum mainnet to Arbitrum Nova. That's how you can get the gas fees to move around on the Arbitrum Nova network, which is why we have to use the Arbitrum bridge. Now I'm still going to walk you through all the steps in case it gets confusing, but the first thing we need is Ethereum. So you have to get that from a crypto exchange. Don't use FTX because that is no longer an option. I would recommend getting Ethereum from any exchange you trust. And at the moment with things kind of shaky, hold cryptocurrency in your own personal wallets whenever possible. I'm going to get Ethereum from Coinbase and I'm going to go to send and receive. It's going to look kind of similar depending on which exchange you use. For me, I have some stuff on Coinbase and that's where I'm going to withdraw my Ethereum. So we want to get our wallet address from MetaMask. So you select MetaMask, going to get a pop up here where it says it's it just says what network we're on. You want to hover over your account and then click it. It copies it to the clipboard. And now we have our address. Now your crypto address is going to be exactly the same when using MetaMask when on the different networks. So even though you just have one address, that's the same address you're going to use for Ethereum, Arbitrum 1 and Arbitrum Nova. Back on Coinbase, I want to make sure I get 0.01 ETH. And let me just make sure, nope, that's the wrong one. So this is to switch between USD or Ethereum. If you have that dollar sign, that's USD. If you don't have that dollar sign, that's Ethereum. So I'm gonna get 0.01, and then I'm gonna paste in my wallet address there, and then select continue. And it's about $12 worth of Ethereum, and I should get it in the next 10 minutes. 
and it also includes the network fee and it's gonna be about 30 cents so i'm gonna hit send now always have two-factor authentication if you want to protect your funds and we should have ethereum in our wallet very shortly and in less than two minutes i got my ethereum on ethereum mainnet it's available in my wallet balance here and you just have to make sure you are on the right network otherwise you might not be able to see it so I made sure I'm on mainnet, my balance is now available, and we are going to bridge from mainnet here, and we're going to send it over to Arbitrum Nova. So that's already selected, so I'm just going to select max, and let's see how much Arbitrum Nova I get, and there are some fees involved. You, you can see here we're moving after fees 0.00855 Ethereum, so that's about 15% in fees. It's a flat rate so it's actually not 15 percent but for the amount relative to what we're sending that's what it is a dollar 23 in fees we have the l1 gas fee and then we have the l2 gas fee which is less than a penny that's amazing so we can proceed with this transfer we're going to move our ethereum from ethereum mainnet to arbitrum nova so on arbitrum nova we're going to see our ethereum there so we can pay for network fees Next, you're going to see this MetaMask notification, and you just have to approve this transaction. That sounds good. Confirming. So we should get Ethereum on Arbitrum Nova pretty soon, but you only really need a small amount, and that's just so you can pay the network fees to move your crypto moons to another crypto exchange. So you have another option here. I found on Reddit, someone created a Nova ETH faucet, very nice dude here, uh, feel free to support them. And all you have to do is go to novafaucet.com. So then you just put in your crypto address and your Reddit username, but you need to have at least 100 moons to use the faucet. And you're gonna receive just enough Ethereum on the Arbitrum Nova network, and then you can send that to a crypto exchange that supports the trading of crypto moon. Alternatively, you could also use a decentralized exchange to do your trading. And it's a success. We moved Ethereum from the Ethereum mainnet over to Arbitrum Nova. So you can see our balance went up and now we can trade either on DeFi or we definitely have enough funds to move our moons from our personal account over to a crypto exchange. But we're going to need to find out where do we trade crypto moons. So we're going to head over to coinmarketcap.com. We're going to type in moon and we want to make sure we're looking at r slash cryptocurrency moons because we don't want to trade like some scam coin by mistake so this is the legitimate listing it came up first and you also have the arbitrum contract here so if you want to play things a little safe you want to make sure that's the right contract we're going to copy that address then we're going to go to metamask we're going to make sure we're on arbitrum nova we're going to click these three dots we're going to go to the rb scan explorer we're gonna go to view token holdings we're gonna select moons and then we're gonna hit Control f we're gonna paste the contract address we copied and we confirm it there the contract address matches we are looking at the correct listing so back on coin market cap if we scroll down and select markets you can see where we can trade crypto moons it's available on gate.io bitget and mexc now from these, Gate.io does KYC, I'm not sure about BitGet, Mexi does not do KYC, which means anyone can set up an account and start trading, so I would use them. Alternatively, we can use a decentralized exchange, and if CoinMarketCap doesn't give us all the results, you can also go to CoinGecko. So here on CoinGecko.com, we're going to look for reddit cryptocurrency moons ranked 785 we're going to scroll down to markets very similar and then we have more listings so you can see it's available on sushi swap rcp swap and those are decentralized exchanges which means you don't have to create an account you just connect your wallet and you can start trading now if you are just going to use the nova faucet you won't have enough gas to trade on a decentralized exchange so you would have to use a centralized exchange Possibly something with no KYC if you're from the US. I'm not saying to do that. I'm just saying 
that makes it possible. So for this example, we're gonna use MEXC. And now that we're logged in, we wanna go to our wallets. And I actually can't see it on this page, so I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. And now we have wallets, gonna go to overview, and then we're gonna select deposit. Then we're gonna look for moon. So I'm gonna type in moon, and that's the cryptocurrency moons. And then we confirm our network. It's only available for Arbitrum Nova, Arb Nova. And now we wanna generate an address. So I'm gonna click to generate the address here. This is just a notice, I'm just gonna hit confirm. And now I have a crypto address where I can send my moons to MEXC. So I'm going to select this and copy the address. Then I'm gonna go back to MetaMask here. I'm gonna hit send. I'm gonna paste in my address. And I can send any amount of moons. It could be one moon, it could be 0.01 moon, it can be all the moons I have available. So for this example, I'm gonna send 100. I'm gonna send 100 moons over. I hit next, and then it's gonna show us how much it's gonna cost. 0.00001 ETH, which is very low. Hit confirm. And now the transaction is pending and should be completed in just a moment. That was quick. There was no editing there. It is ready to go. And very soon we should see the moons in our Mexi account. We'll just refresh it in the next few minutes. So now that we've successfully deposited our cryptocurrency, we're gonna scroll to the top, hover over trade, select spot, and just okay. And then we wanna trade moon. So we are in the cryptocurrency moon section, but if you wanna find it, you go to search at the top right, type in moon, and we're trading moon USDT. On the far left here, we have our sell orders, and at the bottom, we have our buy orders. So someone wants to buy our moons for 1015 at that highest price, I'm okay with that, so we're gonna sell our moons to this order. By selecting that number, it populates the price field there, and then we can sell all the moons we have, and 100 moons will get us $10.15 in USDT. I'm gonna sell my moons, and they have been successfully sold, and I have 1015 in my account now. I actually had some USDT there earlier, so you saw that the price went up. Now that you have USDT in your account, you can send that over to your personal crypto exchange that connects to your bank. So for example, if you're using Coinbase or Binance and you have your bank connected, you should be able to send USDT to your account and then convert that to your preferred currency and then withdraw it directly to your bank. As for the potential of moons and if you should invest or not, not gonna answer that here. That could take another deep dive because I need to provide you with all the information you need to make a logical choice. This video is just a tutorial. If you are super into social media and into cryptocurrency, you can earn crypto for free on Reddit and people are doing that. And the people who are doing it very well are making a significant amount of cryptocurrency, which can be converted into cash. So that's what the purpose of this video was. If it was helpful, feel free to hit that like button. Let me know in the comments what you want to see in the future. And follow me on social media, other links below. And with that, I hope you got your full value for today.